Hey everyone, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In our previous video, we have learned this eval function where we are sending this pass term function to the content script and in the content script, it is generating the xpath. Today, we are going to learn how to get all the xpath that is generated in my content script to the dev tools. For example, so far we have done like from the dev tools, we are sending a request to the content script and in the content script, we are passing this pass term. Now this dollar zero is nothing but the last selected element from our element panel. So whatever the xpath it is going to generate by this pass term function, it is going to store that data in the xpath data as an array object. Now we cannot build the UI from the content script. So content script and the dev tools and or the background script or the pop-up JS, everything lies in different isolation environment. So to make a communication between all the files, we have to build the message passing. So today what we are going to learn is how we can send the data from the content script to the dev tools. Now whatever the data we are going to receive in the dev tools, based on that we build some UI. Now of course I cannot use the dev tools file js file directly to build the ui dev tools is mostly used to do the communication between the content script to the dev tools that's the work of this now we are going to create two another files one is the html file and another one is the javas file i mean javascript file so if i go back to my editor first of all i'm going to create a folder called panel and within this i'm going to create a javascript file so panel.js and then I will create another HTML file. So let us name this as panel.html. We'll write a simple template here and we are not going to do any manipulations here as of now, but we'll see that maybe in some another video. So here we are going to introduce the script tag with the SRC and here I will point my panel.js. That's it. Now, just to make sure we are able to set this file in our dev tools within this uh, element sidebar panel, we'll write some header tag and we'll say welcome. So that's fine. Okay. Now, if I go back to my dev tools here, we have to make sure that we are able to call the panel.html file that we created now, right? So here I'm going to use this object called panel, which is coming from this create sidebar panel. So whenever we create a sidebar panel, it is going to give us the panel object. Now using that, we will set a page that is nothing but our panel.html. So here, first of all, I have to go to the panel folder and then followed by, I have to use the panel.html. So we are calling the folder and the file name. That's it. Now if I go back to my browser and if I refresh and let me go to any pages, and if you open the inspect and if I go to let x path here, you can see we are able to get the welcome message, right? Now, we know that whatever the value we are going to select here, that's going to be um, display in my console from the content script. So here you can see that content.js. Now, if I click on this, here you can see that this x path data, which is, which is the actual data holding whatever the x path we have generated. So from this method, we are going to send a request to the dev tools now. So let us see how to do that. So I'm just going to comment this console.log as of now. We don't need this. And here I will say chrome message. Now within the send message, we have to pass object. We cannot pass the directly a string or integer. We have to pass the data as an object. So here let us create an object. So here I will say let uh, maybe I will name this as message and here we will say within the curly braces we want to pass two datas actually so one is the request what is the request we are going to send so here I will say send to dev tools okay and another one is the actual data so that's going to be xpath colon xpath data so xpath data is nothing but this array where we are storing all the data and this is just an object name, right? That's it. 
Now, of course, I have to pass this within the send message function here, right? Now, from the content script, we are sending a message. Now, we have to receive the message in the dev tools, but we are not going to use the dev tools directly. Rather, we are using this panel.html where we have set this JS file. So, if I go to this JS file, here I have to receive the data that I'm going to get from the content script. So, here again, I have to introduce a uh, on message listener. So here I will say chrome dot runtime dot on message and we are going to add a listener and this listener is going to listen for three objects that is going to be a request and another one is the response and another is like just in case not the response actually it is going to be a receiver and this is going to be a response. Okay, so we will get three objects one is the request who is sending the request and receiver is like from where we are getting and response is like if you want to send a callback to the original source. Now we are going to use only the request so let's not worry about the other things. So here I'll just console.log this first. So here we'll see this request and that's it we are done with the connection. Now if I go back to my browser and refresh the source code and then of course I have to refresh this and let me close and open. So here if you go to this, here we can see we are getting the welcome message and if I click on some of the element and if I right click and inspect this and if I go to the console here we can see we are able to get this object where we have this request as send dev tools and this xpath id where we have received this xpath right. Now let us see how to build the UI. We are not going to do like so much in the UI. I am just going to use the document.write function to just replace this welcome message with our xpath. So here we'll write if condition first request dot request. So request dot request is nothing but uh, if I go back to this console, here we can see that we are getting this object from request, right? So this is the message we are using to get the communication. So we'll call this object name. So request if this is going to be sent to dev tools so let me copy and paste from here why i'm doing this is because uh, when we are going to build the application for uh, final release so definitely there will be multiple calls which is going to happen so i have to make sure that what is the request i'm going to send that should be uh, based on that i should do the task right so that's why i'm using the if condition as of now so uh, so that it will be more convenient for the upcoming videos or the, upcoming, or the final release, okay? And here we'll say that uh, we'll write a function first. So build uh, UI and we'll pass the object. So here we'll pass the request. Uh, we don't need to pass the entire request. We can just pass this xpath data alone. So here it's xpath. So let me copy or let me type. And we'll pass this alone. That's fine. Now, of course, build UI build ui is another function so we have to create that so here i will create function build ui which is going to receive a data as a parameter and here i will say document dot write and within this we will just pass the data as of now and let us see what happens so i'm just going to close this one and if i go back to this i can just simply um, i think i can refresh yeah okay now if i click on some changes here of course it's not going to work so okay let me just um, refresh this and refresh the page again and close it and again open it and if you go to this let x path and if i click on something okay so it didn't work let us go back to this inspect and let us check what happens actually so we are able to get the data but still we are not able to write it why Okay, so let us go back to the source and let us do the debugging. So if I go to this pages here, in the last you can find a folder called panel.html. Within this, if I go to the panel.js and if I set a debug point here, now if I click on this, of course we are getting response here. So it says that, okay, my bad, there is a spelling mistake, nothing else. So if I go back to the editor and change this, small mistakes can give you big errors okay so let us refresh and refresh and if i go back to the inspect 
and if I go to the latex path now if I click on something so here we can see we are able to get this now I can just copy this and maybe I can inspect so here we can see we are able to get it now as soon as I click of course it's going to append because document dot write is going to append to the body so that's not a problem for us because of course we are not going to use this uh, anyway we will write some of the HTML page where we are going to uh, give some UI so that's absolutely fine right so the learning here is whenever we have this uh, data in our content script we are sending that again to the dev tools indirectly to the dev tools uh, so that we have another file called panel.js now why i'm doing this is because the dev tools is responsible for only the message passing not to build the entire ui because this particular page is going to have multiple calls now so whenever user clicks on any of the button that should copy the x path all the stuff so we cannot make the dev tools files busy for all the time so that's why we are, have created another file that is going to manipulate the dom the isolated dom that is not going to affect any of the user screen this is just another html file so of course that's going to be entirely different okay so i hope this makes sense to you and this is pretty much easy so we have already talked about the message passing like how we can pass message from the background to the content script now today we have learned how to send the message from content script to the dev tools and if you have any queries you can reach out to me of course so uh, you can reach me out on the linkedin or the comment section okay so that's it from my side i hope you have enjoyed the video if so give a like thumbs up and if you're new to the channel uh, subscribe to the channel thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon